Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. On this video, we're doing St. Louis style ribs, start to finish. So let's get going. All right, so here are spare ribs. They're not exactly St. Louis style. These are straight out of the package. I haven't done anything to them. So let's make these into St. Louis style ribs. All right, so I am not a professional. I've learned this on YouTube, just like probably many of you out there. But we're gonna we're gonna be cutting these riblets off that go right down right down here, and we're gonna have a nice square slab of ribs so with a nice knife and you just feel where that knuckle is where i'm kind of feeling it right i think right there maybe right there you just follow it down see how easy it was bam we got our riblets now and i love these little riblets i love putting them on the same time i put the the, the slab of ribs on because they usually finish first, and these are what I snack on. I guess some people call them the Pitmaster's treat or the Pitmaster's snack, but I love these things. So we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. We're gonna go ahead and trim these up. So right here, we're gonna take an end off, make that nice and even. And then I like to flip them over and look at the bones because I always miss them. So I think we'll just go right here. We'll take that one off. And again, don't throw this stuff out. Throw it on the smoker to make great little snacks. All right, so at this point, now we're just, we're just sort of trimming. Getting rid of all this fat. Go ahead and uh, cut this piece off and I forgot what this piece is called I know there's a name for it if you guys know what this name is leave a comment down below to remind me so there we have it nice and uniformed Probably take a little bit off of here. And then some people like to remove the membrane. I do. I remove them all the time. Some people don't. You can sort of score them so it doesn't become an issue, but I always remove them. And usually I have a like a spoon. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, let's get a spoon. Butter knife. That's what I meant to say. All right. So just find a little section, lift it up, and then I just get my fingers underneath it. And usually a paper towel does help with this, but Sometimes they come off in one nice swoop, but uh, you got to work at it sometimes. So we'll just keep going. All right, that was fun. So that's it. Nice and simple. You got a lot of meat when it comes to spare ribs. That's why I like using spare ribs over baby backs. Baby backs, you get a thicker, a thicker rib, in my opinion. Um, don't get me wrong, baby backs are great. I love some baby back ribs, especially some baby back maniac ribs. But I always cook with spare ribs because you get more meat for the money, which is what I like. Go ahead and get the other slab trimmed up. All right, we got two slabs of St. Louis style cut ribs. And again, I am not a professional. I'm sure a lot of guys out there can do it a lot better than I did, but that's how I learned how to do it. Now it's time to make a rub. And this is sort of my all, 
you know, purpose everyday rub that I throw together because it's stuff that I usually have in my cupboards and it's easy to remember and it tastes great. I always start out with equal parts of salt, smoked paprika, and some kind of sugar. It can be white sugar, I got sugar in the raw, or it can be brown sugar. Equal parts. So this is four tablespoons, salt, sugar, paprika. And then since this is pork, I don't add a whole lot of pepper, but I do two tablespoons of coarse ground pepper. And then I throw in a tablespoon of garlic, tablespoon of onion powder, some chili powder, and a little bit of cinnamon. That's it. And again, you guys start playing with that flavor. That's, that's a basic base in my opinion. And I've added cloves, star anise, um, you know, cayenne of course, but this is where I usually start my rubs from and then just sort of play from there. You know, if it's a steak rub, then I'll cut back on the sugar, more pepper, and instead of uh, cinnamon, I'll add coffee. But this is usually where I start from. Binders. A lot of people use mustard out there. Some people use uh, oil, um, peanut oil. I've seen uh, whatever you want. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. The, the ribs are nice and wet right now, but I'm still gonna add a little bit of mustard as a binder. It doesn't really add much flavor to that. So we'll get that coated. And then we'll start hitting it liberally with our rub. All right, we got our ribs all coated with our rub. I saved a little bit for our rillets because that's what I'm gonna snack on as these things cook. For this cook, we're gonna be using the Masterbuilt 560 with some lump and some hickory. I haven't got it started yet, but that thing heats up quick and it's ready to go in no time. So I got my ribs prepped. And they're gonna sit here while we get that thing lighted up. So let's go. While our ribs are on the master build smoking away, let's go ahead and make a really simple barbecue sauce.
So guys, we hit the four hour mark and our ribs are starting to get nice and tender. They're looking really good. So we're gonna use our quick and easy barbecue sauce. We're just gonna start coating it for the last hour. All right, guys, we are almost at the five hour mark and I'm thinking these things are done. They're looking incredible. They smell incredible. Let's go ahead and pull these off. All right, so here we go. All done. They look incredible. They smell incredible. Start to finish, nice and simple. We did a simple rub, not too many ingredients. We created a, a nice, simple uh, barbecue sauce with stuff that pretty much everybody has in their cupboards, give or take a few, and just took our time with this. No big deal. Let's go ahead and slice into one of these. That's pretty. All right, time for the taste. Mm. Perfectly bite through. And what I get is that rub is, is a nice balance. It is, it's got some salt to it, obviously. Um, but you got the sweetness of that barbecue sauce that sort of cuts that down a little bit and it balances everything out really nice. So this is, you know, in my opinion and also in my wife's opinion who loves it. She was, uh, we were tasting the little, uh, the little riblet pieces and she was pretty crazy about this one. So if she loves it, I know this has got to be good, but it's nice and simple. No big deal. We didn't, we didn't stress. We just, we just kept it simple. So, you guys give this a try, hit that thumbs up. I'll see you guys on the next run. Thanks for watching.